Welcome to the unboxing of the Eurofighter Typhoon in this epic blackjack library of the Royal Air Force. This is a 48th scale plastic model kit from Revell and the 228 parts make it a skill level 5 kit. I recently uploaded an unboxing of this bronze tiger kit which also uses the same mold. Therefore the parts will be identical. Anyways, here we can see more photos of the prototype build of the Blackjack and these decals are the main reason why I bought this kit. My initial plan with the Bronze Tiger was to build it in this Austrian Tiger scheme, but unfortunately I'm still waiting for someone to manufacture decals for that version. While I wait for that I decided to build something else with the already started Eurofighter. As you can see I already made some progress with the build, so I'll just use the black check decals on this kit, which is exactly the same when it comes to the parts provided. Near the end of the video I'll talk about the problems I encountered so far. But now let's check out the manual for the black check. Here we have the usual tips and explanations of all the symbols. Then a list of Revell Aqua paints. Most importantly in this case gloss black. And again, we have to mix certain colors. And fiery red is also important here. Then the usual overview of the sprue trees. Many parts that we won't need are blacked out. And then the assembly starts with the ejection seat and cockpit. I did not have any issues here and you can make this quite detailed without any PE parts whatsoever. I'll show you some pics of my building progress here. The canards can still be rotated if you do this step correctly. Oh and another thing, don't forget to add a lot of weight in the nose. Then you assemble the wheel wells and air intakes. This was also unproblematic. After that you add the nose, wings and some smaller parts. The pots on the wingtips and dorsal spine. After that you assemble the landing gear, in case you want to have the gear down on your model. Of course you can also display your blackjack with the wheels up. The next step are the engine nacelles. And the first difference to the Bronze Tiger and the Austrian Tiger is this antenna of the missile warning system here. The air brake is a bit problematic, but I'll show you that in a minute. And the cockpit and refueling probe which can both be displayed opened, respectively extended. Next up some smaller details and then the pylons. The fuel tanks and this kit also comes with a lot of armament that you won't need on a display aircraft like the Blackjack. It's the same thing with the Bronze Tiger that also did not carry any armament. And finally the painting and decal guide. As you can see most of the aircraft needs to be painted in this gloss black. However the dorsal spine and vertical stabilizer need to be painted in this fiery red. Only this roundel here is a decal as you will see in a minute. Let's have a look from above. What a nice paint scheme. Again this red area here needs to be painted. And the underside which is all black except the large decals on the wings and canards. And finally a look on the pylons and again it even says here that this is a training aircraft which doesn't carry any weapons. So if you're a beginner, don't be afraid of the amount of parts because a large amount of them won't be used. Alright and now a look on the decals. Apart from the large markings for the black check, we can also find a ton of small stencils and warnings. And here we get some decals for the displays on the instrument panel. I love the union check on the canards. And this large decal goes on the underside of the wings. This area where the decal meets a pylon and landing gear bay door will be tricky, 
so I'll probably cut it apart here for easier application. And this one goes on the front landing gear bay door. These long stripes here are the markings for the walkways on the wings. So as usual the decals are of very high quality and definitely the selling point of this kit. The next thing we look at are the clear parts. Everything is packed separately which is good. There is a very thin line on this part and you will need to be careful when removing this excess plastic. Also we have the head-up display and some lights here. And here the main canopy frame which has this seam line here. However it's not that difficult to sand this down and polish it. On the next frame we find the dorsal spine with the area underneath the air brake. Quite some flash on this part here. Then parts for the canopy which are quite detailed. I also added a few small wires on this panel on my current model. Next to this is the air brake which looks quite good from below. However, if you want to display it in the retracted position, you will need to put in a lot of work so it sits flush on the dorsal spine. Next up the wheel wells, parts for the landing gear, refueling probe, some small sensors and the Martin Baker ejection seat. It's quite detailed out of the box, but of course you can always invest in aftermarket parts if you're looking for more authenticity. And the instrument panel, which turned out quite nicely if you ask me. I did not use any decals here, I just brush painted it. Here are the pots for the wingtips and more parts for the landing gear with quite some extra plastic. Oh well. And two sprues with all the armament that you won't need for the blackjack. This kit comes with cruise missiles, air-to-air -air missiles as well as laser-guided bombs. That's a nice addition for your spare box to use on other models but again not needed here. And another sprue with more weapons and the pylons which are nicely detailed. And over here the fuel tanks. I think the blackjack usually carries one centerline fuel tank. Now to this sprue with the engine nacelles and wheels. More parts for the landing gear. And here the wings and underside of the fuselage. The panel lines are recessed and overall I'm quite satisfied with the detail of all those panels and rivets. Most of this will be black or covered by decals anyways. What I wasn't so happy about are the wings. And the same issue I have with the bronze tiger can be found here again. This gap between the flaps just doesn't look good and is also relatively difficult to clean up. Same here with the other engine nacelles where we get some flash inside. Not a big problem but still it could be better. And the last sprue where we find the air intake with the front landing gear bay. What else? Yeah, the cockpit top. This part is quite good with all the buttons and switches as well as foot pedals. And here the canards which can still be rotated after assembly. More parts for the intakes. The assembly of the air intake was much easier than on the older 70 second scale mold. However, the nose is again quite problematic here. Overall, the mold quality isn't the best. On the other hand, this kit costs 35 euros only. Oh, and the second part that's different to the Bronze Tiger is this Pirate IRST. Interestingly, the manual did not even mention that it needs to be added, but looking at the box art and photos of the blackjack, you will need this. Anyways, moving on to the fuselage halves. On the right side you add the refueling probe. Other than that, yeah, the fit between those two halves was more on the okayish side if you know what I mean. 
Luckily most of the joint line is covered by the dorsal spine. And the vertical stabilizer is molded to the fuselage halves. I didn't run into big issues here. So here we have it, primed and ready. Well, not really, because now that I'll use this for my blackjack, I want to close the air brake. I would have left it open for the Austrian Tiger. However, the fit here is really bad, so I need to remove some material. Also here, where the wings join the fuselage, I had to fill a rather large gap. And where the vertical stabilizers meet, some sanding was required. I'm also not satisfied with these gaps here, as I said. Yeah, the canards can be rotated, but obviously I need to add the IRST here. This whole nose area was also quite bad. You can still see this gap here. I masked off the wheel wells and primed it with Mr. Finishing Surfacer 1500. Oh yes, and I need to add the missile warning antenna back here. So overall this is still quite a mess and it will definitely take me some more time to finish the black check. While we all wait for that, why don't you check out the video about my 70 second scale air power 19 Eurofighter. Also don't forget to leave a like and follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I'll post my progress with the Blackjack Eurofighter Typhoon. Thanks for watching and bye!